Hi, this is Andy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm a regular guy who works as a teacher and loves saving old pieces of furniture from the trash. You may remember this piece. It was given to me for free and I made it into a bookshelf slash entryway table. I loved the color and the farmhouse vibe it had, but it never sold. Many people asked in Facebook Marketplace if I had another piece in another color. I guess light furniture does not sell well here. I want to give it a 1920s Art Deco style, inspired in The Great Gatsby. Come with me and let's see what we can do with it. I'll start by removing these metal corners. They won't go with the style I want to give the piece. This flip took ages because I had so many things to do. New job, my father's health, surprise visits, I even had COVID and I'm still recovering. Oh, well, better late than never. Since I am going to paint this shelf, I just need to scuff sand it for my paint to adhere well. Moving it inside, I hand sanded some drops of wood filler I had applied to make the top extra smooth. Then I cleaned it with some multi-purpose cleaner and some paper towel. I taped the base before painting. My furry inspector has to check that everything is done to code. Once the base is taped, it was time to paint. I chose to go with black. I have lots of leftovers and I'll be using them all. I'll be painting with a brush. The first coat never covers everything, but you know that you have to trust the process. I'm not too worried about brush strokes because this is a handmade product, so imperfection is special here.
that can have several positions and is used to divide the space. It needs its first dark coat. I hand sanded lightly with 240 grit between coats. My idea is to paint both sides with a golden Art Deco stencil. I love Art Deco because it reminds me of one of my favorite novels of all time, The Great Gatsby. I bought this stencil, but the holes are too big. You can see that I try to use it here, but as the lines are so thin, the shape never formed well. Fortunately, I tried it between coats. I have another stencil made, so while Milo plays with an empty bottle, I'll cover that fail of a design. The problem with having such a cute dog is that he needs to be the center of attention. Who am I to refuse it? Okay, let's continue with the second coat. I gave the piece two coats and I felt that it was okay. This is the stencil I had made. I must confess that I got inspired by Meg over at Lovely Jubbly Furniture. She is the absolute queen of stencils. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description below. After placing the stencil in the initial position and taping it in place, I sprayed some gold paint on a plastic bag and started applying it with an artist brush. The process is very slow, but it is very therapeutical. And here it is, not perfect but so beautiful, I am obsessed. If you are enjoying this video, consider liking and subscribing. Every like and comment helps my channel enormously. I post videos regularly with my adventures with furniture and all your feedback gives me energy and happiness. In the description below you will find more ways in which you can help me such as wish lists and buy me a coffee. As I told you, I am not looking for perfection here. If I have any spills, I can correct them later with a tiny artist brush. I love this pattern. It reminds me of the Chrysler building in New York City and it also reminds me of Gatsby's love for Daisy and what a bitch she was with him.
Here I am almost two weeks later. I'm in my PJs and bathrobe because this was the day I could get up because of COVID. With four boosters, it was just a strong cold, but I had to rest and take it easy. Feeling observed. Yes, I love you too. He's been super attached to me during COVID. I decided not to stencil anywhere else in the piece, so the top should be very smooth. Then I'll sand it with 120 going up to 240 grit. After cleaning it, I'll touch up some spots of the stencil and I'll paint the top with a roller to get a smooth surface. I have this water-based polyurethane in glass finish. I prefer satin, but I can't go out so the top coat will be glossy. I'll apply a total of two coats Before the final reveal, let's take a final look at the old piece. And here it is now. It is definitely more elegant and masculine. The Art Deco pattern gives it that classy retro feeling that can be used for so many purposes. I hope you liked this week's flip. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.